You are welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.E. E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Wednesday, the 27th day of July 2022. And our topic for today is God's children are overcomers. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, our mighty and gracious God, the one who always causes us to triumph in Christ, the unbeatable champion, the one who has never lost a fight. We bow before your majesty and we say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you again for everything that you do for us. We will not fail to sing of your praises. We are left amazed at your wondrous works in our lives. Only you, the King of Kings, is deserving of all our praise. We are here before you one more time, Lord, that you would speak to us. Your word that carries life, your word that carries power. Let it impart us again. And let us never remain the same again to your glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. 1 John 5, verse 4 reads, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. And our scripture reading for today is from the book of John chapter 17, from verse 9 to 16. John chapter 17 verse 9 to 16 reads, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep them through thine own name, those whom thou hast given me that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou givest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world had hated them, because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is God's children are overcomers. And in the body of our devotional today, our Father in the Lord starts with the scripture, Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. It reads, Teaching them to observe all things, whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. He says, The sacrifice of Jesus Christ would be considered useless if the children of God, those who come to God through Jesus Christ, were not overcomers. Jesus achieved the ultimate victory over the devil and the world so that the children of God can live as overcomers. Jesus died on the cross at Calvary for you and was raised from the dead so that the devil and his agents will not have dominion over you. Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 to 15. You may then wonder why some Christians still suffer under the oppression of the devil. Well, if a child of God does not take his place in prayer, Bible study, and holy living, he cannot enjoy the victory that Christ Jesus won for him. The Bible always states that we can only judge all disobedience when our obedience is complete. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 6 The victory in Christ Jesus that you continually exercise over the devil, challenges and unpalatable circumstances is dependent upon your submission to the Lord Jesus Christ. James chapter 4 verse 7 reads, Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Before you resist the devil and he flees, you must first have submitted to God. If you don't submit, 
the devil will also not flee when you resist him. The devil is not afraid of you. He knows that he can overcome you if you are not standing in Jesus Christ. He knows that you don't have any power to harm him, whereas he can harm you. He knows all this, so he cannot be afraid of you. However, when you go under the authority of the Almighty, then he trembles at your mere presence. The centurion told Jesus that his soldiers obeyed him because he was a man under authority. Matthew chapter 8 verse 9 If you want the devil and his agents to obey you, you must be under the authority of the Almighty. If you want the devil to obey you, you must be under the authority of the Most High. It is as simple as that. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is God's children are overcomers. Yesterday in our devotional, our topic was asking the question, are you a child of God? And we learned from there that children of God are those who behave like him. A son is expected to have the traits of his parent. So also we learned that we cannot just claim to be children of God. It has to be reflected and manifested in our lives. And in today's devotional, we learn of one of the many advantages available to God's children, which is victory. Colossians chapter 2 verse 10 tells us that we are complete in Him, which is the head of all principality and power. He is the chief of them all. Hallelujah. John chapter 16 verse 33 also tells us to be of good cheer. Our Lord Jesus speaking there says, I have overcome the world. Our Lord Jesus also speaking to us in scripture tells us, Greater works than this shall we do. He healed the sick, opened blind eyes, popped deaf ears open, and even raised the dead. And now he tells us we'll do even greater works. You can see that we are triumphant. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14 tells us, Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ. Praise God. This is the birthright of every genuine child of God. However, is it possible for children of God not to demonstrate this power and dominion? The answer is yes. Scripture tells us that an heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all. There are principles that must be obeyed if power and dominion must be reality in our lives. And our Father in the Lord tells us today one of them to be when believers take their place in prayer, in the study of the word, in holy and righteous living. Do not forget that the enemy is a super trickster and he understands that God works by principles. If he is able to manipulate the believer to default in the principles, he knows there would be no results for that believer. A prayerless believer is a powerless one. A believer who is empty of God's word is one who would only make noise without results. A believer who is also not living holy would also not enjoy this dominion. Scripture says, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. The spiritual realm also being a legalistic realm, we understand from our devotional today that we can only judge disobedience when our own obedience is complete. In other words, you cannot live in disobedience and want to manifest dominion over it. We learn in today's devotional that the extent to which we can manifest victory is dependent upon our submission to our Lord Jesus Christ. He tells us that without him we can do nothing. The enemy is fully aware that you are powerless without Christ. It reminds us of the seven sons of Sceva. They were asked, Jesus I know, Paul I know, but who are you? The same way we are expected to ask ourselves today. And from the story in scripture we understand, since they were not submitted under God, they had no dominion over that spirit. And Acts chapter 19 verse 16 tells us the repercussion of this. It says, And the man in whom the evil spirit was, leaped on them, and overcame them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. Note that we are talking about one possessed man against seven able-bodied men. Scripture says he prevailed against them, and they left naked and wounded. You would agree with me that the story would be different if this one possessed man had met one of God's genuine children. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and pray to the Lord who would say, Father, please grant me the grace today for a renewed prayer life. Ask the Lord today for a renewed passion and hunger for his word that we would love to study. Ask him that we would fall in love again with holy living. 
we receive the grace today to cultivate intimacy with him that as his children we would love his presence we would soak ourselves in prayer we would dedicate ourselves to the study of the word we would not see righteousness and holy living as outdated and out of fashion that we would seek him and long for him in truth and in spirit ask the lord today also for the grace for submission that we would be submitted totally to him that all that we have and all that we are would be laid completely at his feet. Ask the Lord today that whatever makes it difficult to submit, whatever it is that is standing tall in our lives, we command that they be broken down and be brought low in the name of Jesus. We bring all things in obedience to Christ. Ask the Lord today also that the power of sin be broken from our lives in the name of Jesus. Whatever grants the enemy access, we block those accesses and we take our rightful place as God's children. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Almighty Father, we are grateful for this word one more time. We say thank you for the victory you have given us as your children. Thank you for making us overcome. We come before you today and we ask that in whatever way that we may have suffered defeat, let victory be multiplied in the name of Jesus. The grace also to sustain this victory, we ask that you grant unto us. Help us, Lord, to live in holiness. Help us to cultivate the habits that make victorious living possible. We overcome. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's devotional that tells us it is God's responsibility to enforce your victory over the world. It is your responsibility to remain submitted to Him. We receive the grace today for total submission in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible a one-year reading plan for today to read from the book of Proverbs chapter 6 down to chapter 8. Hallelujah. We are also grateful and we are excited to have you join us today again. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. We'd be happy to hear from you. You can do it to like, share, subscribe and also leave a comment. God bless you. As you go forth today, receive the grace to live in perpetual victory in Jesus' name. Our hymn for today is the hymn 2 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, Conquerors and Overcomers, Now Are We. Have a victorious day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. Conquerors and overcomers now are we Through the precious blood of Christ with victory If the Lord be for us we can never fail Nothing against his mighty power can ever prevail Conquerors are we Through the blood of Jesus God will give us victory through the blood of Jesus. Through the land for sinners land, yet who lives and reigns again, more the conquerors are we. of Israel's God will onward press, overcoming sin and all unrighteousness. Not to us but unto him the praise shall be, for salvation and for blood but victory. Conquerors are we, through the blood, through the blood. God will give us victory through the blood, through the blood, through the land for sinners slain, yet who lives and reigns again, more than conquerors are we. Are we unto him that 
suppose a comet shall be given Care to heat of mighty man a saint from heaven Over yonder he the victor Spain I'm sure and her robe of white and golden crown shall wear for us are we through the blood of Jesus God will give us victory through the blood of Jesus through the Seen a slain, yet who lives and reigns again? More than all for loss are we, more than all for loss are we. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.